A closer look at a recently passed state law aimed at preventing situations like this one. Our Samantha Boyd talked with one of the lawmakers who recently passed the duty to intervene law requiring officers to undergo specific training. Samantha, you also took a look at which deputies seen in that video completed the training and did not. Yeah, Laura, I did. And out of the three law enforcement officers seen in that video, two have undergone the training not once but twice. But Levi White has yet to do it, and White is the officer who was seen beating the man during the arrest. We want to warn you, if you have not seen this arrest video, it may be difficult to watch. State Representative Justin Boyd working to educate officers for more than a year now after getting his bill passed in April of 2021, known as duty to intervene. If we really have a concern, the, the place to start is really with education, and that's what the heart of this bill was. He points back to George Floyd's death at the hands of Minneapolis police officers as the first incident making him want to write this bill. This rises to the level of making sure that our law enforcement officers in Arkansas are aware that there is a duty to intervene. The bill requiring officers to undergo specific training and intervene if and when they see other officers using excessive force. The most recent video in Crawford County showing deputies beating a man during an arrest, reminding Boyd just how important this bill is. Like many people, I've seen the video and the, the video was at the least con concerning. So we took a look at the three law enforcement officers who were seen in that viral video and what training they'd undergone. Levi White, the deputy seen beating the man in the video during the arrest, had not completed the duty to intervene training, though he had until December of this year to complete it. The other two deputies seen in the video have both done the training twice. But Representative Boyd says he hopes this incident serves as a learning moment. What I would hope is that you know, we learn from this, we make sure that officers know the expectation and that if laws are violated, that there's accountability. I reached out to the Crawford County Sheriff's Office to find out how many officers have done this training and what its plan is, but did not hear back. I did talk to the Little Rock, Benton, and Bryant Police Departments about this training, and I have found out that Little Rock and Bryant, all of the officers there have done the training, and in Benton, all but five have done the training, and they will be completing it before the end of the year. Reporting live in Little Rock, Samantha Boyd, KRK4 News.